In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat the meta man-to-man -man coverage for a one-play touchdown in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on Madden 21 tips and tricks that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. So if you're interested in improving your game, what I would encourage you to do is we upload four videos a day here on my YouTube channel, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single day. We also live stream, go live, and answer your questions every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting that material, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I'd also recommend that you join our community Discord, which is in the um, link. In the, the link for that is in the description of this video. Now, Discord is a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players and just be able to not only ask them questions but also be able to lab with them and just get better all around. Now the play we're breaking down comes from the gun split slot formation in the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook. Now for those of you that have maybe are new to the channel or haven't been following me for a little while you might not know but I actually have a full ebook out on the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and the 46 defensive playbook okay and that ebook is really really comprehensive and really really intense it is over 125 pages of material with over 10 hours of video content it's going to help you take both your offense and your defense to a whole nother level in madden nfl uh, football so we've actually taken people one of the guys that got the guide said it's the best 25 dollars that he has spent on Madden in a long time. Another guy that got the guide said um, he wishes that he would have got it earlier on in the year because it would have won him more money games earlier on in the year. So again, it's probably in my opinion the best passing playbook in Madden 21 with I believe the best defensive scheme in Madden 21 as well. So if you want to pick up that ebook, you can pick it up at the link in the description. It's my Madden 21 competitors bundle guide. But the play we're going to be looking at today is called Shakes from the Gun Split Slot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put our fastest player in the slot position. So for the Packers, that's going to be Marquez Valdez Scantling. Okay, and we're just going to come out in the play, da -da -da -da, Shakes. And uh, on defense, what we're going to do is we're going to play the meta man-to-man -man coverage against this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our curl flats to 25 yards, and then we're going to basically play some really solid man-to-man uh, -man defense. Now, uh, we're going to use just the die 146 cover two man uh, to start out here. And all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage, we're going to shade coverage outside and over top, and we're going to put both of our safeties in purples and our user, our middle linebacker, into the middle of the field. What's great about the split slot formation is it offers you the flexibility to be able to pick up pressure and also the ability to be able to pass um, with some really solid air raid passing concepts like Y cross, mesh, uh, 689 hook, stuff like that, four verticals, all that. But what I love about this, this is kind of a situational play, but it's a really, really good play for the man-to-man -man coverage because you see that Marquez Valdez Scantling is on this little S post route. These S post routes are really, really good this year. Now, what I'll, all I'm going to want to do here is on the right side, I'm going to basically turn this into slants in the middle of the field. So I'm going to put both of my outside guys on slant routes, and then I'm just going to motion Marquez Valdez Scantling to the outside. And what you'll see here is if he runs this route, um, you've got your slant routes underneath, like you see right there. The other thing that you're going to have, and I might need to back the ball up and kind of reposition, you definitely would want to run this play um, primarily to the left, or I'm sorry, to the right hash on the field. So we'll back this up, give us a little bit more room. But what you'll notice on this play, uh, once I set this up, is Marquez Valdez Scantling should be able to torch the man to man coverage. Now, if he's not able to do this um, in regs, what I would suggest is having a 90 or higher deep route running guy there so we could easily just put Devonte adams there and he'll be able to do this uh, pretty much no problem but again motion him you want him to get that nice snap right there and what you'll see here is a hard left side pass lead and he's going to be able to beat that coverage now the other thing that you can do with this is if the if the safety's on the field the uh, if the safeties are dropping into those purple zones if you just leave his route stock, you can also smart route it as well. But you'll notice here, if I leave him on this like deep little S post, what's going to happen is he's going to get up field pretty nicely against this. And it's just basically pass leading this up and over the top. Now, again, one of the things that you're going to have to watch out for 
are those safeties in the purple zones. Um, depending on how deep their zone drops go, right now I think I have them at 25. Most people actually will put those at 20. But um, you'll see, you w just want to make sure you get it to snap right as soon as he passes this guy right here. You want to give him as much room as possible. This is more of what we're looking for. And again, just passing that up. And as you can see, you're able to get over the top of that defense. Now, one thing you want to do, like let's say you have an Aaron Rodgers type of quarterback or a quarterback that has Gunslinger, you'll notice that he throws the ball at a little bit of a lower tra trajectory. And so what you'll do on this is you just want to really finish your pass lead and you want to get the ball out in front of the receiver so that he can run. So it's more of like a lob ball. Um, but as you can see, you're able to, again, you're able to get over the, the safety coverage. Now, one thing that you'll see a lot of uh, within this meta man-to-man -man coverage is you might see something like this where they're not quite as deep on their zone drops. That's where this play is really going to going to shine. Obviously, you have your slants on both sides, so if they are in 25-yard purple zones, you'll be able to hit the slant routes very easily. But you'll also be able to hit this route right there. That's what we're looking for, right over the top. Click on, swerve catch, and you see you're going to be able to get that over the top. Okay, so you have this little uh, route combination against man-to-man -man coverage. And what's really nice about it is the slant routes serve as really, really good reads for man blitzes and just quick underneath routes. And so what I like to do on this is just kind of peek in here. But you'll see, you'll notice these slant routes will consistently beat man-to-man. -man. So if you're facing someone that runs man-to-man, -man, and what I like about the split slot and kind of similar to the spread is that the slant routes are coming from two receivers on the outside. They're not coming from the inside receivers. It's going to make it much, much more difficult for your opponent to be able to use or this. And you also have these nice little table routes to the backs. Now, again, Dime 146 is going to do a pretty good job of handling this. But let's say they're in nickel or they're in, you know, a lot of times you'll be facing, when you come into this set, you'll face nickel 245 or you'll face, you know, nickel 335. And when you face those kind of defenses, you'll notice that these backs, when he's matched up on a linebacker, he's just going to be a lot more effective. As you can see right here on the left side, matched up on a linebacker and basically an instant, you know, three to five yards. So how does this fare against zone coverage? It actually fares fairly good uh, against zone coverage. So put those slants out there. You'll notice those slants are pretty much going to be open at random points within this, like low ball them against cover two. You see, you see you can low ball the slants um, against zone. And what I like about it, again, is you can low ball either one. It's a symmetrical route combination. And really, you know, you're not going to be calling. This is not a primary um, play that you're going to want to run against zone a lot. But when, you, when its number is called, um, it's going to be very effective. You're going to be able to hit the slants. You're going to be able to hit the, the quick flats. The route to MVS is primarily a man beater, as you can see right there. Um, it's primarily going to be a man beater for you. But let's say that they run, let's say that they're, you know, running cover three and they run hard flats on their running backs. Now, obviously, you're still going to be able to hit this route to your backs. What you'll notice is Marquez Vadas Scantling, you can actually, um, and you wouldn't, you would want to low ball that, but you can actually low ball that against, you know, a cover three cloud flat type of scenario where they don't, you know, basically they just don't have their purple zones at 30 yards, you could run something like this and just low ball it, and you see he's going to kind of back shoulder it against the coverage. So all in all, I think this play um, is really, really effective. Again, and, and if you wanted to run these C routes on the outside, the biggest thing that I would recommend is just smart routing them. And obviously you wouldn't want to run it to the left, but if you smart route the one on the right side, you'll notice – um, he'll some he'll he'll get decent separation against man. It's not quite to the level that I would like it, and that's why I like to put the slants out there. But all in all, you know this is a very simple play, but I think very effective, especially with using this motion over. Um, this motion over just does such a good job against that man-to-man -man coverage, especially you know if they're, you know even if they're in. What I like about this specific one is if they're running standard cover two man, you can just pass lead him to the left, and you'll notice just get that hard left pass lead that's going to turn it into almost an out route or deep corner route on that side of the field another thing that you could do with this if you wanted to and let's say you had like a route of, um or um let's say that you take Devontae adams and just put him on a streak route you'll notice that this window is going to be even more open so you ran your sand your, your same backside concept 
But now you're going to see that this thing is just going to really, really start to come together. And I would make sure that I smart route that route on the left side. But let's say that they're running cover two and they're they're throwing their outside guys in purples again. Well, this is, again, this is going to be very, very effective. You'll notice that Devontae Adams is going to be able to run his guy off and kind of clear the space and you're going to be able to hit that route to Marquez Valdez Scantling very consistently against the man-to-man -man coverage. You also have all of the other things at your disposal on this play. And then, of course, against zone coverage, you have a basic, you know, left side, basically a left side flood. This is very resemblant of a route out of the gun bunch that has kind of the same uh, features there. But if they're not playing hard flats, you take your running back. If they are playing hard flats, if they're, you know, if they're not playing you know like if they're playing cloud flats on the outside then obviously you would take your running back but if they're not um then you can easily you know kind of pop in you see how this route's going to get in a nice tender spot against cloud flats so they're really going to have to use zone drops to be able to stop this route but at the same time i would say this route does a pretty good job especially when you use the smart route feature on it you can do a pretty you know pretty decent job here of actually getting underneath some of the zone drops that people like to do. So all in all, this is just something to kind of add into an already really, really good little scheme here uh, from this. You can do certain things off of it. Like, for example, one of my favorite things to do is run this little PA slide with the motion slant, and you have that motion slant and that post route. But in my opinion, gun two back is very underrated this year, especially from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, obviously, we have several other things in the Cardinals ebook for you. It's not just a two back ebook. We cover the entire uh, formations and the entire playbook. We talk about gun spread, gun trips, gun cluster, gun five wide, gun split slot, all of that stuff. So if you want to pick that guide up, that link is in the description of this video. Other than that, guys, um, if you want to join my text message membership, it's completely free to do that. And basically what my text message membership Every single week, I send out an exclusive Madden 21 tip to my text message members, 100% free. And typically, those are longer in form. So it might be a 45-minute um, guide on how to stop the run out of the big nickel over G. It might be an hour-long breakdown on how to run the gun bunch effectively. Different high-level things like that. So if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, I'd highly encourage you to also shoot me a text message and let me know that you'd like to be a part of the text message membership. My number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the description uh, in case you need to look it up. But shoot me a text. Let me know you want to receive those tips. Other than that, guys, we'll see you in our next video. And our next video will be going live on YouTube at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And just a quick reminder before we cut off here, we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on our YouTube channel. So we can't wait to talk um, some of the latest developments in the MCS. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tonight.